Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you one more snowflake that looks like a flower. It is easy to make. There are only two rounds in this snowflake. I am not sure what kind of yarn I was using making the snowflake because I bought it long ago, but any yarn or thread can be used. The result will be the same, just the size will be different. I am going to use the same yarn again and the hook that is three millimeters and the diameter of my snowflake will be about five inches. We'll start with chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A slip stitch to make a ring. And now 24 double crochet stitches in this ring. The first double crochet will be chain three. And now I'll make the second one. The next one, now I have three, four, five. Continue making uh, double crochets, please, until you get 24. After you made 24 double crochets, make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. Like this. And now the second and the last round where we'll be making six petals, each on three double crochets of the previous round. And we'll be making slip stitches in one double crochet between the petals. We'll start with chain one, then the pico on chain three, chain one, a pico on chain five. In the next double crochet, we'll make two triple crochets and then three picots. Then we'll make two more triple crochet stitches in the same double crochet and we'll repeat the picos of this side, one on chain five, one on chain three, with chain one between them. We'll start with the slip stitch in the first double crochet. We'll make chain one and then chain three for the pico. A slip stitch in the first of those chain three, chain one, chain five for a pico, and a slip stitch in the first of those five. Now two triple crochets in the next double crochet. One and two. Now chain seven, four, five, six, seven. A slip stitch in the first of those seven. Chain nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A slip stitch in the first of the nine. Chain seven again four, five, six, seven, a slip stitch in the first of the seven. These are the three picos. Now we are making two more triple crochet stitches in the same double crochet. One and two. And now we'll repeat the same because that we did on that we made on this side first of all chain five a slip stitch in the first of the five chain one for separation and chain three for the pico 
a slip stitch, chain one. Now we are going to make a slip stitch in the next double crochet. This way we have made this petal on three double crochets. We'll make a slip stitch in the next one. This one is going to separate the petals and we'll start the next petal with a slip stitch again. Chain one, chain three, for the pico, a slip stitch, chain one, chain five, for the next pico, a slip stitch in the first chain of the five, two triple crochets in the next stitch, one, and uh, two, chain seven, six, seven, a slip stitch in the first chain, chain nine, nine, a slip stitch in the first chain, chain seven again, A slip stitch in the first chain and uh, two more triple crochets in the same double crochet of the previous round one two now chain five A slip stitch in the first chain, chain one and chain three for the pico, a slip stitch in the first of the three, chain one, a slip stitch in the next double crochet. Once again, we've made a petal on three double crochets and we'll use the next one. For separation, we'll make a slip stitch and then we'll begin the next petal. Continue working like this please. Make four more petals. This is how I shape my snowflakes. If you are not sure how to make starch solution, I have a video on my channel. Watch it please if you want to. And it is also useful to have this blocking pattern for snowflakes. I found mine online, but it's easy to make. It's just a few circles divided into 12 equal parts. After you soak your snowflake in a starch solution, take it out, wring it out well, and stretch it over the pattern. Using pins to give it shape, leave it to dry for about 24 hours, and iron it through cotton cloth. This is it for today. I hope you liked the video. If so, please push the like button. And if you want to be informed of all the new developments on the channel, consider subscribing and pushing the bell button. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.